surprise, surprise, it's another Call of Duty release, and with a new Call of Duty comes new metas, tryhards, and people who act like the game was made by a bunch of five-year-olds while dumping tons of money and hours until the next one. Wonder who that is. When I talk about metas, I mean the gun that pretty much every player and their mother is using, so meet the STG-44 and the MP-40. Two guns that are essentially the Ray Lewis and Ed Reed of the game, that means they're really, really scary to go up against. The STG-44 is an AR with the right attachments, makes this thing an absolute beam. Preferably, I'm using the rat Attack variant, which I have no clue how I got it, but the unholy amount of damage this gun can do has Justin Bieber writing songs about it. When creating the proper build, you want to make sure you use whatever attachments you can that will at least keep the godlike damage. And since the rat Attack does all the work for you, because the devs are just handing you things on a silver platter these days, why the hell not be a little bit lazy about it? Like, just look at this long shot that I was able to hit. Damage like this is the reason why I call it the Ray Lewis of ARs. It might be bulky, it might be awful to go up against, but having it in your own arsenal, especially with its incredible damage and laser precision and intense matches, makes this gun the gun that separates the men from the boys. The MP40 on the other hand, it's small, it's fast, and usually the staple of any class for those MLG types. It feels like any World War II game Call of Duty has released within like the last few years or whatever. The MP40 is always just a must to use. Which from playing Call of Duty games for like the last, I don't know, 80 years, might be due to the low rate of fire, stability, and damage that this thing shells out, making it an absolute monster close range and in some situations, far away. I need to mention, I would like to show you a build that I'm currently working on, but I kind of am just working on one. Like, it's in the work in progress phase, because I can't seem to lock down a build that I'm comfortable with right now. It doesn't matter what attachments I'm actually using, it just feels like everything really works in close quarters, and it really doesn't matter. It's more like a preference thing. But I've seen some great classes. I do have one that here I could show you right now that's worked out for me recently, so... Have at it. Want to know what's annoying though? It's the fact that both these guns back in the alpha slash beta were already overpowered as fuck, but the developers outright either ignored that bit of feedback or they were more focused on building the world's greatest anti-cheat, which, by the way, is already being exploited by idiots. I mean, cheaters. Even though I'm enjoying the game more than any Call of Duty over the last, like, few years, I can't help be a little bit frustrated because it's been over and over, the developers lack any sort of attention to the community feedback, and, like, they've done pretty well so far with this game, but I feel like there's some things that they're kind of missing out on. Sort of feels like kind of... Same, same, but different, but still same. <laughs> I would love nothing more to be in one of those meeting rooms when they're discussing feedback from the early access versions or, like, just pitching ideas. Like, it's probably just a bunch of execs and one of them just going like, Well, sir, the feedback is in. Players are hating the early access versions. Sounds like the STG-44 and the MP-40 are broken and need to be nerfed before launch. Well, why would we do that? Because it's our duty to the fans to develop a good game each year because we're charging them like $70 or more of their hard-earned money just to ram microtransactions down their throat? Shut the fuck up. At least that's what it appears to be from the mind of an insane person. Also, I'm aware enough, I think, that little sketch or whatever got old pretty quick, so sorry. Here's my point, I think. Out of complete and total honesty, this happens every single year. Yeah, it's pretty annoying the devs just don't care or pay attention to the community's feedback from any of the previous early access versions of the game until it's kind of too late. But this company made like a billion dollars last year off doing Call of Duty the same way they've been doing off just basically micro DLC that they've pumped into this game. Sure, I can hope that one day the devel developers will actually like do better about listening to the community but in the words of the great boss and Rob, but they won't. They never do. Anyways, that's it. Uh, what do you think of the STG44 and MP40? Are they making you second guess your purchase, or have you just accepted that this is how Call of Duty makes money and that your opinion is pretty much invalid to them? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, or even if you hated the video, feel free to like the video and maybe give it a follow for more similar stuff like this. Or not at all. Okay, bye.